Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Lesson 1 Food Process in Plants. Knowledge Acquisition. After completing this chapter, we will be able to know about the process of making food in plants, the leaf and its parts, energy flow in living things, some unusual plants, dependency of plants, animals and human beings on each other, balance in nature. Dear kids, when we feel hungry, we eat food. Animals do the same when they feel hungry. All living things, whether big or small, need food to stay alive. Plants also need to eat to stay alive. But unlike animals, they do not eat food. Instead, they make their own food. All types of plants, shrubs, flowers and grasses depend on leaves to make food. Mostly leaves are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll. Only green leaves can prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight. The process of making food in plants. The process by which green plants make their food is called photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means putting together. Leaves need sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and minerals to prepare food. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air through pores called stomata. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and stem carries these materials to the leaves. Chlorophyll, the green pigment of the leaf absorbs energy from the sunlight. Carbon dioxide and water are cooked together with solar energy to make food in the leaf. Water plus carbon dioxide plus chlorophyll plus sunlight is equal to plant food. The food prepared by photosynthesis is used for growth of plant. Extra food is changed into a substance called starch and it's stored in different parts of plants such as fruits, leaves, stems and roots. We eat that part of a plant which has stored food in it. Apart from food, oxygen and water vapor is also given out by plants during photosynthesis through stomata. Oxygen is then used by animals and human beings for breathing. Parts of a leaf. Take a leaf and observe the lower surface of the leaf. We will see a main vein running along the center of the leaf. It is called midrib. It is connected to the stem. It has a number of side veins. The arrangement of the veins in the leaf is called venation. The main vein is formed by a double pipeline of cells. One pipeline carries water and minerals to all the cells of the leaf. The other carries prepared food from the green cells to the other parts of the plant. The leaf has tiny pores between the cells called stomata. The leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives oxygen through these pores. Sometimes the leaf has extra water. This extra water goes out through the stomata as water vapor. Stomata get opened or closed according to the needs of the plant. Plants breathe through these stomata. Tasks of a leaf. A green leaf performs the following tasks for the plant. 1. Leaf prepares food for the plant. 2. Leaf helps the plant to breathe through stomata. 3. Some leaves also store food prepared by the plant. Activity 1. To show that green plants need sunlight for photosynthesis. Step 1. Take a well-watered potted plant, plant A, and place it in a dark room. After two days, water the plant regularly. Step 2. Keep another plant, plant B, 
in sunlight and water it regularly as well. Step 3. Now, pluck a leaf from each plant. Boil each leaf separately, first in water and then in alcohol. Step 4. Wash both leaves separately with cold water. You will notice that the leaves lose their color, which is done to make the results more noticeable. Step 5. Finally, put a few drops of iodine solution on each leaf. What do we observe? We will find that the leaf of plantae does not turn blue-black. This indicates that the starch was not formed due to the absence of sunlight. In other words, photosynthesis was not carried out. While the leaf of plant pea turns blue-black showing the presence of starch. This means that plant pea carried out photosynthesis properly. Conclusion: Sunlight is needed for photosynthesis. Only the part of a plant that receives sunlight can produce and store food. Activity 2 To show that chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Step 1. Take a colored coleus leaf. Make a sketch of the leaf on a paper, clearly marking the green parts of the leaf. Step 2. Now bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water and then boiling it in alcohol. Step 3. Now wash the leaf in cold water properly. Add a few drops of iodine. Step 4. Compare the blue-black part of the leaf with your sketch. Find out which parts of the leaf turn blue-black. You will observe that the parts of the leaf which are green in color show the presence of starch. Thus, it is confirmed that photosynthesis has taken place only in those green parts. This shows that chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Activity 3 Starch Iodine Test Step 1 Take 10 to 15 milliliters of water in a test tube. Make starch solution by dissolving a gram or two starch. Step 2. Boil the contents till a translucent solution is obtained. Step 3. Put out about 2 milliliters of this starch solution and add 2 drops of iodine solution into it. Conclusion. When we add iodine to the bleached leaf, it turns blue-black. That shows starch is present in a green leaf. Energy flow in living things. Every living things need energy for different activities. For this energy, we eat food. It means this energy comes from food. We have learned that green plants make food by trapping the sun's energy during photosynthesis. Some food is used by the plant to grow and some food is used to repair a damaged part. The extra food is stored as starch in different parts of a plant, leaves, stems, roots, fruits and seeds, eaten by animals and humans. Thus, energy is passed to humans and animals when they eat the plants. This way, energy flows from the sun, to the plant and then to living things. In a simple way, we can say that plants help to transfer energy from the sun to animals and human beings. Unusual plants Some plants do not have leaves like cactus. The leaves of cactus plant are transformed to spines and cannot perform photosynthesis. The food is prepared by the green stem. Plants like moles and mushrooms are non-green plants because they do not have chlorophyll. They cannot make their own food. They get their food from dead plants and animals and hence grow in damp places. Some plants like croton have chlorophyll but they appear dark red because they have red leaves. This occurs due to the presence of a red substance that hides the green chlorophyll. 
photosynthesis takes place in such leaves too because chlorophyll is present only the green part of such leaves performs photosynthesis dependency of plants animals and human beings on each other plants animals and human beings show dependency on each other animals and human beings need food to eat and oxygen to breathe plants give food and oxygen to animals and human beings plants need carbon dioxide to prepare food animals and human beings breathe out carbon dioxide this is used by plants to make their food this is how plants help in purifying air so plants animals and human beings depend on each other balance in nature nature keeps a balance between all the living things on the earth plants use up some of the carbon dioxide that animals breathe out dead animals put some minerals back into soil Animals eat up plants and prevent them from growing wild. We need to protect both plants and animals. Many programs like Van Mahotsava promote the planting of trees and make people aware of the harmful consequences of cutting trees. Various wildlife protection programs have been started to give protection to wild animals. Remember, if life on the earth has to go on, a balance in nature must be maintained continuous review all living things need food to stay alive plants are only living things that make their own food leaves are green in color due to a substance called chlorophyll process in which plants prepare their food is called photosynthesis Plants like moles and mushrooms are non-green plants because they do not have chlorophyll. Plants take carbon dioxide to prepare food, which is released by all living things, and all living things take oxygen, which is released by the plants. Like, share, and subscribe.